Hi, I'm Denise. Thank you for watching my video. Today I'm going to talk about the sounds t as in ten and top and d as in day and desk. Both of these sounds are stop sounds, so that means that we completely stop the flow of air from coming out of our mouth momentarily and then we release the air with a puff of air, and that makes the sound. For these two sounds, we stop the air with our tongue. So for the first one, t, 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 I put my tongue on the ridge behind my upper teeth, just behind my upper teeth, and I stop the air for a moment, t, t, then I release it, I move my tongue, and I let the air come out. It's similar for d. So the second sound, d, d, d. It's similar. I stop the air with my tongue by touching the ridge just behind my upper teeth. Then I release my tongue and make the sound. The air comes out and I make the sound. These two sounds occur in other languages as well, of course. But in some languages, the tongue may be placed in a slightly different place in the mouth. So I have drawn a picture, not a very good picture, but I've drawn a picture here, and this represents the mouth. This is the upper lip, this is the lower lip, this pointed piece is the upper teeth, this pointed piece is the lower teeth. So it's the side view of the mouth. This is the tongue. It's stretching up from the bottom of the mouth up to the top and I've tried to show that the tongue touches this ridge just behind the upper teeth. Just behind my teeth. In some languages the tongue might touch the teeth so the tongue might be lower. It might be more down here right on top of the teeth. In other languages the tongue might be curled a little bit more and might touch the mouth uh, closer to the roof of the mouth. And when you make those sounds, the t sounds a little bit different. Okay? So in English, the tongue touches the ridge directly behind the teeth. T, t, or d, d. Okay? So again, in some languages, the tongue might be in a slightly different position. One difference between these two sounds is that the t top sound is a voiceless sound, and the bottom one, d, is a voiced sound. If a sound is voiceless, like this one, the vocal cords do not vibrate when we make the sound. If the sound is voiced, like this one, the vocal cords do vibrate. Now we can try making these sounds and try to feel the vocal cord vibration with the second sound. However, I do want to mention that it's very difficult to feel the voicing with stop sounds like this. So if you would like to practice uh, making voiced and voiceless sounds, you may want to look at my video called Consonant Overview Part 1. In that video, I do talk a lot more about voicing. But for now, uh, we can try to practice it, but it, it may be difficult to feel. To feel your vocal cords vibrating, you should put your fingers somewhere on your neck. And when I make the sound, I'm trying to make this sound right now. I, I can feel a little bit of a vibration. So you can try to do this also and see if you feel the vibration there with that second sound. You should feel it with this sound. With this sound, you should not feel vibration. Now, again, I said it's difficult because, um, because these are both stop sounds. And if you think that you may be feeling vibration with this one, you may be adding a vowel sound after it. Vowel sounds are voiced. So you may be feeling the vibration from the vowel. You should not feel any vibration with this sound, but you should with this one. So we can try it a little bit. This is the first sound. Just beginning to make the first sound. T, t, and then I release it. And I don't 
feel the vibration. But the second sound, just beginning to make the sound, I do feel some vibration. Again, it's a little bit difficult with these sounds, and it's difficult not to add a vowel sound after them. <clears throat> but please be aware that the first one is voiceless, so no vibration, and the second one is voiced, vibration. Another difference between these two sounds is that t, the first one is aspirated, at least at the beginning of a word, such as ten or top. To be aspirated means that there is a strong puff of air that is released from the mouth. Now, this sound also has air, a puff of air, released from the mouth, but it is not as strong as for the first sound. Okay? So I will, um, I should put two words that are very similar here. I will write them now. So I'm going to write this word. Ten, and then I'll write a similar word, but one that begins with D. Den. And, I don't know, ten, den. Um, how about tip? And dip. Let's practice these words, and let's notice the difference in aspiration. The first one, with the T, so ten, should be strongly aspirated. That means there's a lot of air coming from my mouth. And with D, den, there's not a lot of air coming from my mouth. You can practice aspirating sounds and check the aspiration of sounds by putting a piece of paper in front of your mouth. By doing that, you can see the paper move when you release a lot of air. So for the first one, ten, ten, ten. You should be able to see my paper move. When I say the second word, the paper may move a little bit, but not as much as for the first word. Den, den, den. And I'll do both words. First this one, then this one, okay? Ten, den, ten, den. Did you see my paper move? You should have seen it move much more for the first word, ten, than it did for the second word, den. And again, the reason for that is because the first sound in ten is t, which is an aspirated sound. So, aspiration again means that there is a strong puff of air. The puff of air in this sound, at the beginning of the word den, is not as strong. So my paper did not move as much for the second word. Let me do those two again. Ten, den, ten, den. So the paper moved more for the first word. And let me try these two sounds. Tip, dip, tip, dip. And we had an extra bit of aspiration at the end of these two words with the put sound. So let me change these words, okay? Um, let's try, instead of these two, let's try tin and din. It's hard to write sideways like this. Okay, there will be more aspiration with this word, the beginning of this word, then with this one. Tin, din, tin, din, tin, din. Okay? So, that is a difference. Aspiration is a difference between these two sounds. Let's take a look at some words beginning with these sounds. Let's look at some words containing the sound t, as in ten and top. Okay? So, in this column, I have several words that begin with the sound t. And I would like you to please practice those words with me. Okay? Remember to aspirate t at the beginning of the word. Okay? Table. Table. Tax.
Taxi. Taxi. Technology. Technology. Test. Test. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Together. Together. Travel. Travel. Try. Try. Okay? Good job. I would like to make a comment about these last two words. Notice that they are both followed by the letter R or the sound R. Tra, tra, travel. So, and try. I would just like to remind you not to put an extra vowel sound between the t and the r. Okay? All right. Let's move on to the next column. In this column, the first four words have t at the beginning of the word, but I put the words in this column because they also have t in the middle of the word. Okay? And these others have t in the middle of the word as well. So let's practice these. Tantalize, tantalize. Telltale, telltale. Tentative, tentative. Tutorial, tutorial. Doctor, doctor. Metric, metric. Winter, winter. Now, I'd like to make some comments about the letter T in the middle of the word. Usually, the letter T, and this is the letter T, not the sound, but the letter. Usually, the letter T in a word makes the T sound. However, often it does not. I have a few examples on the board here now of when the letter T does not make the T sound. And I'm going to talk about uh, these ideas more later on in my video, okay? Towards the end of the video. But briefly, I do want to tell you that some of these words, or sometimes the T is not pronounced. For example, sometimes after the letter N, I pronounced this word as tantalize, but sometimes people pronounce it as tantalize without the t sound in there. Uh, this one is tentative. The t is usually pronounced as t in the middle of the word, but sometimes people do not pronounce it and they say something like tentative. Usually, so it can be both ways. It can be pronounced tentative or not pronounced tentative. This one and this one are always pronounced as t. Um, doctor has a t sound. Sometimes we say doctor and make it a d sound. These words below here often have more of a d sound. We call it a flap. I will talk about this more towards the end of the video, but for now, I just want you to make you aware that, again, the letter T does not always sound like T. In these words, we pronounce this as later, later. It's almost like a quick D, or a, it's called a flap, later. This one is pronounced water. So we do not pronounce these two letter T's as T, okay? So again, I'll talk about those later. Sometimes also, the letter T is silent in a word. We don't pronounce it at all. Listen, listen. So in this word, we don't pronounce the T, and in these two words, the T sounds more like a D. Let's look at the last column. In the last column, I have words that end with the t sound. So 
Please, please repeat these after me, okay? Taste, taste, trust, trust, drift, drift, soft, soft, expect, expect. Affect, affect, kept, kept, prompt, prompt. In each of these words, I pronounced t at the end of this word, right? I pronounced the T as t. And we usually do for words that end in uh, s, in st, s. Taste. So it ends in both a s and a t sound. Taste. Trust. Okay? It ends in st or st. In these two words, we have endings of, f, of the f and t. F, t. Drift. Drift. Soft. Soft. In these words, and, and many other words, that end in f, or f, and t, we do pronounce the t sound at the end of the word. In these two words, um, I have a k with the letter c, it's a k sound, and the t sound, and we do pronounce t at the end, so expect, affect. And I pronounce the t. Here, these these two words end in p and a t. Kept, prompt. In other words, also ending in p t or p t, we do pronounce the t sound. But we have many many words where we do not pronounce the t completely at the end of the word, or we do not pronounce the letter t or the the sound. Completely. And I have a few examples in this column. I have written unreleased. That means that the letter T or the sound T at the ends of all of these words is not pronounced completely. When I say unreleased, I mean that when my tongue touches the ridge behind my teeth, I don't complete the sound by moving my tongue and releasing the air. So if, if this is the top of my mouth, this is my tongue, so my tongue touches to make the t sound. It touches, it stops the air, then it releases the air. So the tongue moves, it releases the air, the air comes out of my mouth and we hear the sound. So. Okay? That's releasing the air that's coming out of my mouth. So when I say unreleased, for cat, for example, I put my tongue in the correct position to make that T, cat. This is where my tongue goes on the ridge behind my teeth. It goes up there to make the T, but I don't release that. So I don't spit out the air. I don't complete the sound. That's what I mean by unreleased. So, when I pronounce this naturally, I would say cat, cat. I can release the t if I want. I could say cat, cat. But that sounds and feels unnatural to me. We don't normally release the t at the ends of many words. So let me pronounce these for you, and, and I am not releasing the T at the end. So I'm not releasing the air that comes out of my mouth at the ends of these words. Or not strongly, as with a regular T sound, okay? Cat. Cat. Coat. Coat. Boat. Boat. Late. Late. Admit, admit, forget, forget, okay? So when I 
say it on release, it means that the t sound at the end of a word is not fully released. The air is not released. So we don't get that puff of air, we don't get that strong sound. It's as if the t is unfinished, it stops there. We also have many words that have the letter T with the letter H, as in this word. And in that case, the T does not sound like T. The T sounds like th or th. In this word, it's together, ther. So it does not, the T here with the H does not produce the T sound. And I will talk about TH in another video. So, I've just given you some examples of some words that have the T sound. Some words where the T is not fully released. Some words where T may sound more like a D. And again, these will be more, I'll have more at the end. And one word where the T is not pronounced at all. And I'll have more of that at the end. So let's move on and take a look at some d words. Okay? Let's look at some words now that have the sound d as in day and desk. Okay? So in the first column, I have words which begin with the d sound. So please practice saying these with me. Okay? Please repeat after me. Dance, dance, danger, danger, deliver, deliver, direct, direct, dish, dish, display, display. Double, double, drink, drink, dry, dry. And as with the t words that had t and r, er, I have two words here with d followed by er or the r. Okay? So I would like to remind you to not add an additional vowel sound between these two sounds, okay? There's no vowel sound between d and r, okay? Drink, drink, and dry, all right? Great. Let's go to the second column. And in this column, the words have d in the middle of the word, okay? Some of them also have d the beginning, but I put them up there, up here, because they have d in the middle of the word. So please practice with me. Cedar, cedar. Dedicate, dedicate. Deduct, deduct. Medicine, medicine. Order, order. President, president. Puddle, puddle. Okay? Now, I want to comment on a few of these that happen to have t at the end of the word. T is the sound I talked about previously. When I said this word, for example, direct, you could hear the I hope you heard the t at the end, direct, because it ended in ct, okay, direct. But over here, when I said dedicate, I did not fully release the t at the end of the sound, at the end of the word, because it ended just in t, dedicate, dedicate. So I did not release the t sound. Well, now in deduct, I did release it. Deduct. It ends in CT, just like this one. In president, president, I did not release the T sound. 
Okay? Let's look at the last column. In this column, I have words which end in the d sound. Okay? Please practice with me. Behind. Behind. Dad. Dad. Depend. Depend. Good. Good. Heard. Heard. Paid. Paid. Wood. Wood. Okay. Let's go on and compare some t and d words side by side. Let's practice some words which differ only in the sounds t and d. Okay? On this side of the board, I have words which begin with those two sounds. On this side, I have t words, and on this side, I have d words. Notice when I have words together like this, with a slash mark between them, that means that these words are all pronounced in the same way. So these three words are pronounced exactly alike. These two words are pronounced exactly alike. Okay? Please practice saying these with me. And what we're trying to do is just distinguish the sounds t and d and make sure that we are saying them differently. Okay? All right, let's go. Two. Two. Do. Do. Okay? I guess I should do it this way. Two. Do. Two. Do. Time. Dime. Time. Dime. Town. Down. Town. Down. Train. Drain. Train. Drain. Trip. Drip. Trip. Drip. Okay? Let's do it one more time. To. Do. Time. Dime. Town. Down. Train. Drain. Trip. Drip. Okay? Great. Let's go on to the other side of the board. On this side of the board, I have words which end in the two sounds t and d. Okay? The rest of the word is the same. The vowel sound in the middle of the word is the same, just as it was on the other side of the board. Um, however, you may notice a difference in the length of the vowel. The length of the vowel on this side will be longer than the length of the vowel on this side. The vowel sound is really the same. For example, here, this is a, ah, bat, a, ah. this is a, ah, this is e, e, f, F. This looks different, doesn't it? But these are the same vowel sound. F. F. Here the vowel sound is I. I. O. O. So the vowel sound is the same. However, on this side, the vowels will sound longer. They take more time to say. They're longer in length. They take more time because they occur before this sound, d, they occur before a voiced sound. Remember earlier I said t is voiceless, my vocal cords do not vibrate, and d is voiced, my vocal cords do vibrate. Vowels sound longer before voiced consonants, so before this one, 
than they do before voiceless consonants, this one, okay? So, the sounds in each of these words are the same, like here and here, here and here, um, but the vowel will sound a bit longer on this side, okay? But we are practicing not only the vowel length, but mainly the t at the end and the d at the end, okay? Let's be sure to distinguish those two sounds. Please repeat after me. And I'm not going to fully release uh, these, possibly, okay? So, <laughs> you can release them, release the final t, or not release, it's up to you. Bat, bad, bat, bad, feet, feed, feet, feed, set, said, set, said, right, ride, right, ride, rope, road, rope, road. As on the other side of the board, when I have two words like this separated with a slash, that means that these words are pronounced exactly alike. So, um, you could notice, probably, I hope that you did notice, you could probably notice the longer vowel, um, especially, well, in all of these, I hope, but especially maybe in these last couple. This is right, here, yeah, right, right, ride. Notice how I lengthen that I, ride. It's because that I sound comes before the d, the voiced d sound. Right, ride, right, ride, okay? And here, rope, okay, it starts with a r sound, then a o, then a t. This starts with the r, the o sound, and a d. So here, I hope that you notice the longer vowel length in front of the voiced d sound. And by the way, uh, we don't pronounce this W, either of these Ws, okay? Let's do all of these again. Bat. Notice I'm not releasing the T. However, you can release it. Bat. Okay, if you prefer. Um, it's more natural to me to not release it, so I'm not going to. Alright? But the B and the A should sound the same as the B and the A here except that this A will be a bit longer. Bat, bad, bat, bad. Okay, here we have f, e, t, f, e, t. And the E here will be longer than the E here because this one is before the voice d. Okay? Feet, feed. Notice I'm not releasing that T. You can release it if you prefer. Feet, feed. Feet, feed. Okay? In these two, remember I said earlier that even though this looks different, A-I, the letters A-I, this, in this word, the vowel sound is the same as the vowel sound here. It's E. So we have S, E. And here we have s, <laughs> that's e and d. However, just as with the other words, this e sound, the vowel sound, will sound longer, will be longer than this one, okay? Because this one is before a voiced consonant. And I will not be releasing the t here, but you can release it. Set, said, set said. Okay? Let's do these again. Um, these are exactly the same. Right, right. Okay? Right, ride. Right, ride. Okay? And these two are exactly the same. Road, road. So we have rope, road. Rope, road. 
Notice I'm not releasing the t on this one. Okay, so just some comparisons with some similar sounding words, um, but some of them have t and some of them have d. Let's move on to some sentences and practice sentences with each of these sounds. Let's practice saying some sentences with the t sound. Please repeat after me. The talkative teenager told a touching tale of triumph. The talkative teenager told a touching tale of triumph. The talkative teenager told a touching tale of triumph. Okay? Next one. The toddler tore the toe off the teddy bear. The toddler tore the toe off the teddy bear. The toddler tore the toe off the teddy bear. Okay? Now the last one. Turmoil on the turnpike turned into a traffic jam. Turmoil on the turnpike turned into a traffic jam. Turmoil on the turnpike turned into a traffic jam. Okay? And I have underlined the t sounds. Notice that the word the does not have a t sound. It starts with the letter T, but it's followed by H, so TH does not make the t sound. Just a few sentences for you. Let's practice saying sentences with the d sound. Please repeat after me. The diners ate dinner in the dining room. The diners ate dinner in the dining room. The diners ate dinner in the dining room. Next one. The dogs detected the drugs despite the decoy. The dogs detected the drugs despite the decoy. The dogs detected the drugs despite the decoy. Okay, last one. The director downloaded the data during the disaster. The, di okay. the director downloaded the data during the disaster. The director downloaded the data during the disaster. Okay, great. Let's move on. I've been talking about the sound t, which is made with the letter t, and I have mentioned a few other sounds made by the letter t. Now I'd like to talk about those in a little bit more detail. So, I will start with words which have a silent t. And I did give you one word earlier. I gave you the word listen which has the letter T, but not the sound T in it. Uh, the letter T in this word does not make any sound. And I've given you some additional examples here, okay? So, each of these where I've underlined the letter T does not make a sound. So this is listen, fasten, whistle, Trestle, mortgage, often, soften. 
with this word, some people do pronounce the t sound. So some people pronounce it as often, and many others pronounce it as often. Both pronunciations are acceptable. I put it here in this list because I do not pronounce it with the t. I pronounce it without the t, so I wanted to include it in this list. So let me please read these words to you and please repeat after me. Listen, <clears throat> fasten, whistle, trestle, mortgage, often, soften. So the letter T does not make a sound in these words. And then I've given some additional examples with the flap sound. This is the sound that sounds almost like a D when we pronounce it. This sound occurs when the letter T is between two vowel sounds and it's at the beginning of an unstressed syllable. So for example, this word later, the stressed syllable is the first syllable, lay. So the second syllable, the one beginning with the T, T-E-R, is unstressed or not stressed. So in words such as this, where the T begins an unstressed syllable and it is surrounded by vowel sounds, Americans pronounce that sound as a D, later, later. It's like a very quick D sound. Um, I will have an entire video on this sound later on, so if you're interested, you can watch it. But for now, uh, I wanted to give you an overview and give you a few more examples. So we have later, water, butter. Okay, each of these is a T, beginning an unstressed syllable, and it has a vowel sound on either side. Later, water, butter. Then we have two examples where we have the vowel sound before the T and an L or O sound after the T. And in this case, vowel sound and O, we make a flap for the letters T. So we pronounce this as little, little. And this one is bottle, bottle. So there was a little bottle on the table, okay? There was a little bottle on the table. Here's another example when we have the letter T preceded by an R or ER and a vowel sound after. In this case, the letter Y makes a vowel sound. So the ER before the T in an unstress, and the T followed by an, a vowel sound um, in an unstressed syllable. This also makes a flat sound. Party, party. We had a little bottle on the table for the party. Okay, party. And these are just a couple more examples. Tomato, tomato. Here, the first T is pronounced as a T, or the first T is pronounced as a T. The second one is pronounced as a flap. That's because it's an unstressed syllable. The stressed syllable in this word is may, is the second syllable. So we pronounce this as tomato, tomato. Here's another example. We pronounce this one as potato, potato. So this letter T is pronounced T because it's the stressed syllable. And this letter T is pronounced D as a flat in the unstressed syllable. Potato, potato. Okay? I also have some words up here with the letters TH because I want to remind you that the letters TH do not make the T sound. 
And I mentioned this earlier, I know, but I just wanted to give you a few more examples, okay? And I will also have an entire video about these sounds available to you. So if you're interested, you can watch that video. Here are some examples. We have two sounds with the letters TH. We have one sound which is a voiceless sound and one sound which is a voiced sound. So let me just give you these examples, okay? So again, these are words with the letter T, but not the sound T, okay? This is think, thought, through, bath, tooth. And on this side, I have words also with the TH. This is the voiced TH sound. The, that, those, other, mother. Okay? And by the way, I've been talking about the letter T, the word letter. has a flap sound, okay? Just like later, but it's letter. So we don't make a t sound for that word. And one more thing about the sound t. This time I'm talking about the sound and not the letter. I'm sorry if it's confusing. But many words which have ed on the end do make the t sound. So this is the sound, t, not the letter T. And I will have an entire video about the ED endings available to you also. So if you're interested in that, you can take a look at that video. But for now, I just want to introduce this idea. So in this word, for example, it ends in ED, and this ED makes a t sound. Talked. Talked. This is laughed, laughed, stopped, stopped, watched, watched. So the t sound is in these words as well. Okay? I've been talking about the sound d, which is made with the letter d. And now I would like to show you some words which have a silent letter D, okay? So they have the letter D in, the, in them, but the D does not make a sound, all right? So these are just some common words with a silent D. I have underlined the letters D in each of these words, okay? So the first one, which is very common, is the word Wednesday. Wednesday. The D in this word is silent. So this is Wednesday, Wednesday. Here in the word handsome, handsome, we do not pronounce the D. And in the word bridge, bridge, we don't pronounce the D. Judge, Judge, there's no D. Edge, edge, no D. Knowledge, knowledge, no D. And actually there are many other words that have the letters D, G in them, like these words, where the D is not pronounced, okay? So, that's the end of this video about the sounds T and D. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that this has been helpful to you. If you'd like more practice with words containing these sounds, and you don't want all of this extra explanation that I do, then please take a look at my word list videos. I have word list videos where I just list the words and I don't give you all of this extra explanation. So, 
If you're interested, take a look. Thanks very much for watching.